what is up youtube it has been a minute i have not posted any content i don't even know how long um i guess to really update y'all it's been a tough year really tough year I'm not gonna get into the details with it but basically right now no off-roading nothing like that just trying to kind of get back on top of things that kind of went crazy this year anyway right now we are working on a 2007 yz 450f um and we just installed a foot peg and i'm about to show you how to do that i'm going to show you what i did i'm not going to show you how to do it just what i did it's super simple you can follow along so this is my 07 yz 450f um i just got a new tire for it it's over there but this is the foot stand so this one i don't know if the yz's just don't come with them because they're kind of a track bike um i know you can get on amazon those ones that stick in there and you can lean it over but i'm actually going to use this as kind of a run around town bike and i'm gonna actually eventually put some lights on it so y'all can follow along but i want to put some lights on it so i can make it kind of a dual sport enduro but have the track suspension that's kind of what i like um because i'm a heavier guy for a lot of you lighter guys you probably want to just go with an enduro but i've ridden enduros and i weigh 270 pounds and they're just super squishy i feel like i'm not getting a comfortable ride on this thing it just absorbs everything with my body weight so this is the foot peg i just installed super easy to do so this is the part number right here mfg Number 40, I ordered this off Partzilla. They're not a sponsor. Just telling y'all what I did, what I ordered. And it is super easy. So you basically just take your foot peg off. You're gonna have these, these are short ones. It's gonna come with these longer ones. This one's gonna go on here. They give you a conical one right here so that this can do its job. But on mine, I found that I was actually, I had to kind to, I had to, uh, shave off a little bit right there to get it to function properly so that was um that was uh the conical shape helps but you may still have to shave a little bit off of it but that's pretty much it there's nothing to it it's just two bolts um you you can get this off there's a little cotter pin i haven't put it all back together yet but there's a little cotter pin that slides out and that comes off easy to get to take those two off put the plate behind it put these new bolts on hey ready to go you have a foot stand so that's nice be able to park your bike wherever you need to anyway just a quick little video on how to install that and if y'all want more on dirt bikes that's kind of what i'll be doing for the next couple weeks so just stay tuned anyway later guys